Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Science for Young Minds with Marvit Education Center. This series is for Pratom 6. Let's learn some vocabulary words. You will learn how to spell and pronounce some vocabularies related to nutrients. Here are some vocabulary words for today. Are you ready? Here we go! Mineral Vitamin Substance Urine Immediately Properly Transport Temperature Please repeat the word after me. Mineral. Good job. Let's spell it. M I N E R A L. Mineral. Great. Like vitamins, minerals also help to maintain good health. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Please repeat the word after me. Vitamin Good job! Let's spell it. V I T A M I N Vitamin Great! Vitamins keep the body healthy. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Please repeat the word after me. Substance Good job! Let's spell it. S-U-B-S-T-A-N-C-E Substance Great! Water is a substance composed of chemical elements, hydrogen and oxygen. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Please repeat the word after me. Urine Good job! Let's spell it. U R I N E Urine Great! The little boy couldn't contain his urine any longer. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Please repeat the word after me. Immediately. Good job! Let's spell it. I M M E D I A T E L Y Immediately Great! 
carbohydrates that are not used up are immediately stored as fats. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Please repeat the word after me. Properly. Good job. Let's spell it. P R O P E R L Y Properly. Great! The students arrange their bags properly. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Please repeat the word after me. Transport. Good job. Let's spell it. T R A N S P O R T. Transport. Great! Water helps to transport nutrients to cells, get rid of waste products from the body, and control the body temperature. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Please repeat the word after me. Temperature. Good job. Let's spell it. T E M P E R A T U R E. Temperature. Great. Her body temperature is 37.4 degrees Celsius. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Today's lesson is a continuation of our discussion last time about the six types of nutrients. You have learned in our previous lesson that we need nutrients from the food we eat in order for us to grow and be healthy. Last time, we are done with the three types of nutrients, namely Carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. This is a continuation of the last episode about food nutrients. Today, you will learn about the last three nutrients, namely Vitamins minerals, and water. Now, are you ready? Okay, let's go! What are vitamins? Vitamins keep our body healthy. Our body needs them for growing and developing. 
They are needed in small amounts for the body to function properly. Do you know that there are 13 types of vitamins? Each of these vitamins has different functions. Vitamin C helps to keep our skin healthy and it helps in healing our wounds. What food is rich in vitamin? Can you give me an example? Well, these are some of the examples of foods that are rich in vitamins. We have vegetables, fruits, milk that we drink every morning or even at night, and lastly, eggs. What do you know about minerals? Is it just the minerals we found in soil and rocks? Absolutely not. We can also find these minerals in the food that we eat, which are very helpful in our body. Like vitamins, minerals also help to maintain good health. They help the body to function properly. There are many kinds of minerals such as calcium and iron. These are examples of foods rich in minerals. First, we have vegetables. Second, milk. Milk is also rich in minerals, not just vitamins. Then, we have fish, and lastly, meat. Water is sometimes neglected by many. They want to drink juices instead of water. But don't you know that water also has a lot of benefits to our body? Water is important to our body because of the following reasons. Water carries the nutrients to the cells throughout our body. Without water, it will be hard for us to remove waste products just like sweat, urine, and stool in our body. Water also regulates our body temperature. Water can be found from different sources. These are examples of foods containing water. We have water. We are advised to drink six to eight glasses a day. We also have soup, fruit juices, and milk. Just a trivia for you today. Our body is made up of 60% to 70% of water in terms of mass. This means if you weigh 30 kilograms, your body contains about 18 kilograms of water. Therefore, water is very important to us. We can live for a few weeks without food, but we will die in few weeks without water. In summary, we have learned the six different types of nutrients. These are the following. Carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals, water. To end this lesson, let me share these thoughts with you. Eat healthy, feel healthy. Eat bad, feel bad. Thank you for listening. Keep learning. See you next episode.